The Minecraft player base is very divided on Minecraft 1.20. Some people love it, whereas others are very cautious as to what to think about this next update. Despite what many people may think, I am very excited for Minecraft 1.20. However, after re-watching Minecraft Live again an entire time over, there's one thing that I am very, very concerned about. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down my worries, along with some of the vagueness that Maojang's shown at Minecraft Live 2022. With that being said, drop this video a like if you are hyped and let's dive right into things. Now, let's start with the concerns. As usual, there'll be timestamps down below in the description so you can skip through to the parts you're personally interested in, but I first want to go over my concerns and the one thing that did actually worry me about Minecraft 1.20. I've not saw anybody talking about this, but it is the release date of this update. I I think that many people overlooked the 2023 release window because they did initially first talk about the name of the update, which obviously stole the show. Before they did say when the update was going to be released, they first said the name of the update, which is obviously no name, it does not have a name. So this initially got a lot of people triggered or excited or thinking about this and took the attention away from the actual release date. Some people were very, very upset that the update does not have a name or a theme just now and because of this they kind of stop paying attention or maybe some people stop watching but if you actually pay attention to what Lily Agnes said she very vaguely did disclose that the Minecraft 1.20 update is going to release in 2023. Now maybe if you're a new player or you do not pay attention to this you may be thinking why is that a big deal? It is just a year 2023 and that is the problem. Mojang has now gone from in the past to giving us an exact release date to then giving us like a season like it'll be released in um, fall 2022 to now giving us a year. They're no longer giving us an exact date. They're no longer giving us a season or a quarter as to when we can expect this update but they've now dumbed it down even further to just giving us a year. This is very, very concerning because what this basically means is Maljank have now given them themselves no restrictions. They can release this update on the very, very last day of 2023 on December the 31st, or they could release it on January the 1st. They've given themselves a very, very big window as to when this update can be released. I'll talk about the most likely release date later on in the video, although it is very silly to try and predict this thing right now. But in general, I just wanted to voice my concerns about this because I think it is a very bad sign that Maljang is giving themselves an entire year to release this update. Of course they did this in the past with the world update, they just said 2022, but they did narrow it down a bit at least. I think this year round the problem of no specific release window is even bigger because Maljang has stated that they want this update to grow with the community. So one of my fears this time around especially is that the update Update will just continue to grow and grow and grow and get bigger in scale, get more ambitious, more features want to be added, the community wants more, 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 and because the update does not have a name, Maljang are not limited, so then the update will just grow out of proportion. I think the fact that there is no release date or release window at all, I think that is a good sign that this update could be released later than usual. Obviously, we normally get our updates around about June or July in the summer when people are um, on their vacation, they're at home. But I think this year round, it is not too crazy to speculate that we could see Minecraft 1.20 a bit later than usual. Now then, let's get on to a bit of release date speculation. Please do not take anything I say from here on seriously. This is just a bit of speculation and a bit of fun. I just want to give you guys some rough ideas that you can think about and maybe um, make up your own thoughts about but I am not trying to predict when this update will release I do not have any idea this is me just purely putting ideas out there and just thinking with my mind now personally I do not think that Maljang will go all out and release this maybe November December 2023 and I also do not think they'll release it sometime in January February or March I think that's just a bit crazy to believe 
I've already saw some articles saying that the update is going to release on January the 1st or sometime in January or something crazy like that. I've even saw like August thrown around and I do not know where people are getting these dates from. But if I had to guess, I think around June or July is like the perfect time for Mojang. They've proven that they like to get their updates out for the summer release window where people are at home, they're on summer vacation. If you go to school, you are um, on a vacation and you have time off. So that means more people can be playing Minecraft, of course. So I think that Mojang are currently very comfortable with getting their updates out around about that time in the summer. It's worked out great previously. And when Mojang releases updates to Minecraft a bit later on, just like they did with the Buzzy Bee update, usually they do not do as well. They do not get as much hype around them. But to be honest, as I said earlier, I think this year round things are very different. Mojang has gone back to its roots, as I said in my previous video. They're doing updates a lot more classically. They're not giving it a name. There's no theme. They're just doing what they want with this update. So I would not be completely surprised if maybe we get this in like um, September or October or maybe November. I think that would be pretty good and like a solid time to release this update. Usually a lot of people are um, just waiting for something new to play around that time. So I think an update around about then would be great and I would really like Mojang to go all out with this one. There's been a lot of leaks and speculation lately that Mojang are going to bring back a lot of old features like archaeology, maybe a hardcore mode for bedrock edition. They're going to bring back the birch forests and bundles. And if this is true, I would like Mojang to take their time and do things properly. We talked about on the channel previously about a catch-up update where Mojang can just add features that we've been waiting for for a long time. So now Mojang has finally got that opportunity. I just hope they seize the opportunity, they grab it, and they take all the time they need to make this update as good as possible. I do not want to see a wild update situation where they just rush it out there and even though it's not finished, they just cut features and throw it out there, the update's done. I want Mojang to take their time with this one and I hope that with Minecraft 1.21, by the time that update comes around, I hope Minecraft is in a much better position. But there's one final thing that we need to talk about and that is Minecraft Live. This is pretty much a yearly annual event at this point held by Mojang in October every single year. A few years ago it was October the 16th, this year is October the 15th, so I think it would be impossible for Mojang to release Minecraft 1.20 after October. So as I said earlier, maybe just before then, maybe September would be the perfect golden month to release 1.20, but as I said earlier, this is all pure speculation. Let me know your personal thoughts and speculation down below in the comments. But yeah, that's just my thoughts. Just to do a bit of an outro and just my um, parting ways and my parting opinions about this, I am very, very excited for Minecraft 1.20. I would argue the most excited I've ever been for a Minecraft update. Of course, the Nether update is what pulled me back to the game. But I think the idea of just a classic update with no real theme or anything like that, no restrictions, I find that very, very interesting. Interesting. And with Mojang being very ambitious this time around, very in interested and excited and trying to impress the community, I have a really um, optimistic outlook on this that the update is going to be pretty good. Yeah, that's it for this one, everyone. Thanks for watching. It's been me, Jufia. Goodbye.